Approximately 170,000 people in California live in the alley. Many of them with dreams, goals, and aspirations that they wanted to accomplish as they were growing up. But when you're in the alley, no one's there to nurture you, to care for you, nor to come to your aid. But there's only one thing that keeps you living, and that is hope. Hope that one day you will get out of the situation that you're in, that you will be able to stand up and accomplish all of your dreams. But when you're in there, you must fight, and you must look for the exit. Here is where loved ones are lost, where dreams are destroyed, and where voices are shut. Here are their stories, here are their lives, and here is where they stand. Okay, uh, my next one is, uh, okay, this is my, uh, my father died. Well, uh, maybe, uh, since my father, maybe three or four years. My name is Cleveland Bernard Dennis. Um, my name is Sally Dean, my age is 50. I've been homeless 20 years. My name is Michael Castile, and I've been homeless probably off and on for the last 10 years. Uh, um, actually, I'm 49 today. Today's my birthday, October 13, 1965. Uh, Hi, my name is Teron Reese, and um, I'm 49 years old. Born in St. Louis, hometown Denver. Um, Went to high school, Southwest High School, Kansas City, Missouri. Went into the Army, got out of the Army, and somehow I ended up on the streets. I've probably been on the streets maybe somewhere between 20 to 25 years, off and on. Uh, for those people who are watching this video and might become homeless, what advice do you give them? I uh, stay in school, learn a trade, and try to become a beast and I have more self-confidence in myself to keep going. I mean, homelessness is all over the world. It's all over the United States. We do exist, and a lot of times we're not begging. We're just asking for a little help, you know? And maybe that little something that you give us or say to us, it might turn us around. But don't walk past us like we don't exist, because we do. We are people. When you help somebody, help them like they your family member, like they your child. Don't help them like they're adult, don't just help them the way God wants you to help. Don't have no thoughts about what you're doing because, for one, I don't want nobody helping me. I don't want me being a block to them and getting to heaven. If they come to help me and they still have a prejudice in the heart of what they're doing, it's going to block them from the sunlight of God. If they have a, a, a feeling about the type of life I live, that may block them from getting to heaven. You know, or block them from getting there. So do it without uh, uh, contempt. Do it without reserve. Whatever you do ain't got nothing to do with me. It's got to do with you and your your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. 